Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and again, thank you to the witnesses. I want to try to hit on two issues if I could, and I know they're, they sound, you know, at two ends of the spectrum, but I think that's what we need to address. Mr. Wessel, you mentioned uh, a couple of things. One, I think your uh, written testimony is far more extensive than your remarks, so thank you for that. But I notice in your testimony you say in 2018 the heads of the CIA, FBI, NSA, DI. A, NGA, and the Director of National Intelligence publicly testified to their concerns about utilizing products or services from Huawei. So um, I don't know where you are on this question of what we do to build out the network on, on security. Uh, you can give me your thoughts on that. But I'm also interested in your ITU comments because you're talking about an international standards body setting and they're already over there dominating the standards body. Why aren't we leading the way in saying, no one should be able to have backdoor networking, you know, as part of the system and leading a larger vocal uh, concern about anybody who has used these tactics, you know, as state actors to participate in the standard set and forum at all. Your comments on that? Um, well, it, it's a great question and thank you and one that uh, I've um, thought a lot about. And after our hearing last year at the Commission on 5G IoT and similar issues, we met with some of our governmental uh, uh, participants, uh, NIST, FCC, and others. Um, the U.S. goes to many of these standard setting bodies as it does on World Health and many others looking at how do we define the best approach that's going to um, uh, help the global commons. We don't look at it as a way as how are we going to advance the interests of individual interests within our own country or government. Uh, China for many years has taken a very different approach and has accelerated its work at the ITU and in other bodies and has been able to direct the approaches to try and advance the technologies that they are producing, Huawei, ZTE, uh, and others. So it is a clear industrial policy uh, that is, uh, you can relate back to the, tw the five-year plans, China 2025 and others. But we should be we should be clear that we we think uh, violations of this kind of you know state actor activity shouldn't that the IT, ITU standard setting body we should come up with a framework that helps people understand that we can't have people who are participating in these activities part, sitting on standards boards and trying to influence this outcome. I agree with you a thousand percent. Thank you. Um, Ms. Zintz, I know Mr. Bat mentioned um, transportation, which is a great aspect, but one thing that struck me about the uh, entire smart cities effort and interest, and in, you mentioned some of your partners, Vista and others, is this issue of uh, real-time savings on water. You know, irrigation is such a big aspect of the Washington economy and our farmers uh, and resources are being challenged by the changes in climate. What, what do you think that application could do for helping us in real-time information about water usage? Thank you for that question. Yes, indeed. Water is, in fact, our most precious resource. And it's interesting to note that it's not priced as our most precious resource at the consumer level. And it's not managed as our most precious resource by leveraging data in real time. So there are applications where, you, you, with the proper information, people can understand how you ma manage water like inventory. And so with the data, with the data-informed information for those who are operating our water resources, be they for irrigation or for potable water for citizens, then applications that are related to 5G and other methods of getting data to the operators help us substantially reduce the water that is wasted and is not used properly. Is, is anybody else doing this uh, right now better than, than we are? Or are we pioneering this aspect? You mean globally? Yeah, I look, I mean, I know Israel is very efficient on water uses, but yes. I don't know if it's because they're using data or they're using other things that, right. they've, that they've advanced, but. Um, I don't know that there's any one country that substantially leads the way, but the United States has a, way to, uh, a ways to go to catch up <laughs> because of those economic signals that I mentioned earlier. We've got to put those economic signals in real terms in front of the end user 
because that's where you are, have the opportunity to conserve and make more use of the resources. I agree. Thank you so much. Thank You're you, welcome. Mr. Chairman.